Whether nuclear energy is green or not is a hot debate in Europe. But can we actually afford to rely only on renewables? Well, the sun isn't always shining uh, and it's expensive to store energy. But now we're seeing that the cost of storage is coming down so sharply. Technologies are improving for the flexibility and the resilience of renewable-based energy systems that there, there's a, a good line of sight to a non-nuclear, all-green future by mid-century. By the way, in the second half of the 21st century, maybe fusion power, which is quite different from uh, how we uh, produce nuclear now with fission, maybe that will come. Uh, maybe we will have nuclear energy in a different uh, and safer way that doesn't lead to the risk of nuclear proliferation, for example, or accidents or long-lasting nuclear wastes. And of course, always you say there may be particular places with special challenges, but by and large, most scenarios today show you don't need nuclear to get to net zero. What are the expectations from COP26? We have already reached 1.2 degrees Celsius warming. Shocking. The studies show this is warmer than at any time in the last 100,000 years. We are continuing to get warmer because Earth has not even caught up yet with the human emissions of greenhouse gases. In other words, the planet is still warming just to catch up with the emissions that we've made so far. We're turning a corner. We need to do a lot better. COP26 is set up for the moment when we say sanity. Uh, we have uh, leaders around the world that get it. They had better deliver.